Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Sparks Secret Package in the game Super Striker League. So this is a soccer game. When you start up, it just says right there you have to win one public match. So you can't do this in VIP. You can't work with friends unless you guys can get together in the same server and try to work together on which team wins. In, in which case, just go in there and keep playing. Try your hardest. Try to win with your team. In order to uh, steal a ball from the other team, uh, you can run by holding shift, and when you press space bar, when you're close to them, you will basically do a uh, slide and try to steal the ball from them. Then you want to go to your side. Sometimes you got power-ups, you can see on the bottom. Once that gets all the way to the top, you can press Q, and that can do some booster stuff, but I recommend just keep trying to steal it, keep trying to score the goal. Uh, usually it seems like we had more success when we were aiming for the goalie somewhere in the bottom corners on the right or left, but anytime you shot for about the middle, it seemed like the goalie did a pretty good job at preventing anybody from getting any of those goals. So uh, you can see I'm on the red team. We've got two points right now and the clock up at the top in between the scores. You just want to be the one on the team with the highest score when that clock runs out in order to get this one, which shouldn't be too difficult, but it might take a little bit of time. It might take a few games depending on how hard people are. But when that runs out, if your team is the winning team, you can see on the bottom right hand corner of the screen that you've got yourself that bad. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Spark Secret Package in the game Teddy. So when you start out, you just go, you start you talk to sparks she's right there in the beginning and you just basically all you have to do is play the game for about an hour it is just grind you go you hatch hats you put on the hats you hatch pets you put on the, you you equip the pets you can equip two hats at a time you can equip two pets at a time uh basically each step you have to go through you open things like right here you get bushes you have to collect about 10 of them to go to the next part and then eventually you have to collect 15 of the items to go to the next part and then eventually you have to collect 20 and then 25 and then 30 and then 35 so your mission is to get to chapter 10 which is paradise the paradise island so just watch what i'm doing in each step you go through you want to try to get uh, the, the really good gloves so you spend as little time as possible trying to work on whatever you're trying to grind on uh, the the next part you always stand on the platform and it tells you exactly what you need to get to the next part like this part we're collecting bike parts we need five of each one there's like a there's like a seat there's pedals there's tires and uh, and there's a frame and you have to collect five of each move on to the next point and then pretty much each of these stages are the same sort of thing if you've ever played unboxing simulator this game is similar to that you just have to keep going forward there's little parts of the storyline sometimes you have to get money sometimes you have to get briefcases sometimes you have to get different items and it's all about advancing to the next point so just kind of watch what we're doing here and then when we get to chapter seven i will show you what you need to do
All right, so here we go. Finally, after you have been grinding for about an hour, then you can go into this island and you can just see Sparks Kilowatt right back there in the back. You talk to her, you click on yay, and you can see on the bottom right that you've got the bat. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to get Sparks Kilowatt secret package in the game Unicorn Obby. So as soon as you start, there's this Easter Bunny guy over here. You gotta talk to him. He's gonna give you a little bit of the storyline and I'm gonna pretty much edit out most of what he's saying. He talks for a long time, but basically there's uh, seven different crystals shards things that you have to use to uh, defeat this ancient magic to start up that core so there's seven fragments that are missing that you're gonna find throughout this obby basically all you have to do is make it to the end of the obby and you will end up finding those shards on your way through so this is probably gonna take you about maybe 15 to 20 minutes there are some stages that are very tricky but there's also the option to skip a stage for 10 robux if you want to do that so it's just a, a unicorn themed obby uh, I'm gonna Gonna leave this video here at normal time there's some spots where you have to choose different colors or a very specific path so this video should help you with those parts for sure and there are some parts of the obby where it's not really clear necessarily what to do as well so this should help you with that as well uh, there's also uh, the fact that if you're tall in the game if you got your proportions to where you're really tall and everything it might be a little bit more challenging so it might be worthwhile to go into your avatar editor and change your proportions so that you're uh, you're shorter so that the scale and proportions and everything is small and then it might make it a little bit easier for you to get through some of these uh but yeah you can see usually before whatever they do for different stages uh you can see that they will tell you what's going on because this one like these clouds they make you bounce a little bit there's some other clouds that you have to swim through that one's not fun there's some balls that are moving that you have to kind of jump on and there's certain things that disappear like this right here these little wafers that you jump on you can see that they fall down shortly after landing on them so you got to keep moving forward and you got to keep doing this but it is a basic obby just watch this video watch how i go through the obby and then watch at the end what we do because there's actually that switch off there to the left so after we get all seven of the fragments we have to make sure we flip that switch in order to get the secret package so uh just watch how i'm going through this video and we will chat with you guys here at the end
All right, so now that we've made it here to the end, see that little switch over there? We've got to go up to it, and then we've got to activate the switch. So activating the switch is going to cause this thing to open up, and it's going to push the secret package forward. Now all you have to do is go up to the secret package and interact with it, and then you will see the badge on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Sparks Kilowatt secret package in the game Bingo. So this one is straightforward. You just go, you talk to Sparks, and then she's going to give you this card right here. You can see at the top where it says Menu, Metaverse. You can click on that metaverse thing and make it appear or come back or go away uh but it's just an afk waiting game you get this card and you have to wait and as the numbers are called uh, in the top when you go through the games uh then you can see that it will start automatically pushing those numbers there on your card and uh let's see you're probably gonna have to sit in the server basically for about 20 minutes just doing nothing uh you might want to like you know press a few buttons in between games just to make sure it's going through and it's showing your card but that's basically all you have to do is just sit there and uh and look at the numbers as they come across the top there's a little bit of a intermission as you can see here between games but then they start up there and about every six seconds you can see while the game's going on you can see the numbers are popping up at the top i've sped this up quite a bit shout out to all those people who made it in the server here with me who are in the background and uh they're saying what's up there as well so uh yeah it's you just have to go through and you have to get all of those and there's a little countdown and on the bottom when it's all filled out you have to make sure you click claim okay so click on claim and then claim it and then you will get the badge and uh yeah this one's pretty easy it's just a because i'm going to show you how to get spark secret package in the game bloxymon so think of this sort of as like pokemon and roblox a little bit so when you start out there's a little bit of a tutorial you have to talk to some people you have to go through a couple of the trainers and you have to go into this room and you have to pick yourself your first bloxymon uh i'm skipping through a lot of the talking a lot of the chatter and stuff uh so i picked my first one Eventually, we're going to have to catch some more, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to leave that village, and we need to go find Sparks, and we need to talk to her. She is going to have a couple of missions for us, so we're also going to skip through some of her talking. Her first mission, though, is that she wants to get some of those capture crates. Now, you can get capture crates by winning battles against other Bloxymons. There's also treasure chests that you can find, and you can find them in there, but I'd recommend just do a battle. Find a Bloxymon that you can beat. Uh, and then after you beat it, you should get rewards, and a, a lot of the time, the reward that you're going to get is going to be capture crates. Uh, so, uh, they might use stomp and certain moves on you. You have moves there on the bottom, special moves. Usually during those, there's bubbles that swipe through, and you have to click on the bubbles. And uh, generally, these moves, you have to do a few... Uh, you have to do a little damage for it to for you to be able to do it, uh, but then you can lose the battle. But even if you lose battles, check this out. Even if you lose, uh, you can revive. And just for reviving, you can get points, you can level up. And see, we've got the capture crates right there. So even though I lost, I still managed to get some capture crates. But you can see on the left side, on the upper left-hand corner, how many of the capture crates you get. So just do some battles, win, lose, do some reviving. You'll eventually get some capture crates. So the next time that you talk to Sparks, she tells you to go to the store because you need to capture some fruit. So this fruit that you're supposed to buy at the store is supposed to make it easier for you to catch the Bloxymon. So we have to do that as a part of the mission. I've tried capturing several Bloxymon without the fruit and had pretty much no success with that whole thing. So it's almost like you have to get the fruit in order to capture them. So scroll to the right. It's this purple one right here, the catch fruit. Get two of those. So you're going to want to buy two of those if you don't have enough money. Go do some more battles. Win or lose, you're going to get some money as a reward. And then you'll eventually have enough money to do this. But after what you've gone through at this point, you should have... Have enough to get two of the capture fruits now we're going to go back to uh sparks we're going to talk to her and she's saying thank you so much so now each of you guys technically have a capture fruit at this point the next mission that she gives to you is you have to go and capture a bloxymon so we found ourselves a burud this one has less uh bp look in the top right there when it has bp basically the one with the most bp is usually going to be the one that wins sometimes with less bp depending on their type effectiveness you may be able to uh, win against something that's stronger than you but it's not usually likely so that crate when it turns green you can see that you've captured it and then it's going to show you your bloxymon now we're we're going to go talk to Sparks one more time, and we're going to show her that we captured something. She's like, okay, so I've seen how you've do done it. I'm going to go and capture one. She goes, she captures one, then she says, come back and battle against me. So her co-opa right there is very strong. So as you can see, it's got 132 BP. It beat me right away. What we need to do is go and capture a Bloxymon that is stronger. So we found a Kawapa here in the wild, and it's got 187 BP. We went and got some capture fruit. So get some capture fruit, feed it the capture fruit, 
make sure you've got crates and then try to catch it. And then this way, uh, the goal is to try to just capture a Bloxymon that is stronger than the one that she's got with the 132 BP. This one's got 187. We captured it. Uh, so now we've got a stronger Bloxymon than the one that she's working with. Then we're going to get these awards. Then over on the right side where it says menu over there, uh, we can select menu and then it's going to take us here to the Bloxymons. We can select the one that we want and we can equip it. Now we're going to go and battle against uh, Sparks. We're actually ready to battle her this time against what she's got. So uh, we're going to go there. We're going to talk to her and the battle is going to start. So in order to do the battle, you just need to click. Uh, to do some damage and you can see on the bottom those three icons the one on the left uh, Snare that is a strong move You want to click on that when you can and then click on all the bubbles that appear after you click on snare And then this should do a fair amount of damage if you don't use these moves You're probably not going to win just by trying to hit them So you have to make sure that you use these stronger moves uh, in order to win this thing So now that you've won the battle you can see that you've got some XP and you've got some rewards. All you have to do now is just talk to Sparks. And she's going to say, good job, you beat me. Now I'm going to give you your reward. And then after you talk to her, you can see on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you've got yourself the bat. Hey, guys, I'm going to show you how to get Sparks Secret Package in the game Burger Bay. So right now, there's a paywall. You have to spend 100 Robux in order to get in the game. Tomorrow, they should update it basically by Thursday to make it free. So hopefully, they get rid of the paywall. If not, I wouldn't recommend it. You can do other games. So don't worry about a paywall to get uh, one of these for a point for somebody. I wouldn't do that. When you start out, it, you just claim daily rewards and it shows you here on the left side, you click on Metaverse and there's basically a couple different jobs. There's uh, a delivery, a supplier, a cook, a server, and you want to take orders in the front. You want to do all of the jobs basically in the game. So we're going to do the first one where we just take orders here in the front. Also on the right, underneath the house, you can pick uh, that briefcase. And if you click on that, you can pick the jobs that you want to go to. So this one's pretty easy, straightforward, like many other games. You have people coming to you and they give you an order. You want to click on the correct order and you want to do... 10 of these total so you can click on the metaverse thing on the left side to check your progress if you want to just to see how many of these you've done or you can count along the way either way you want to make sure you get 10 of those totals so uh, now that we've got we've almost got 10 of these the greetings pretty much all of them uh, work it doesn't matter which one you use they're all pretty much can I take your orders so now that you've taken the orders for 10 people, you can see right there that part of your mission is complete. So we've got a couple other missions that we have to do. There's four other ones. So we're going to go to the next one, which is the server. We just go around the corner and there's a bunch of these trays. If there is cooks who are fulfilling orders, as long as we've got people taking orders, making orders, fulfilling them. If you're in the server by yourself, then you can just kind of go through and you can take the orders. You can cook the stuff. You can serve the orders. Cooking would come second, but I, I had someone in the in the kitchen already doing lots of the cooking so i decided to come and do the serving so the serving we're going to get that part out of the way so now on the other side yeah, let's see we can see that that's complete we've got the kitchen so there's a bunch of orders up at the top there's different stations there's fry stations there's burger stations uh there's a drink station you can go to any of those and look at the pictures of what we've got up there it's pretty straightforward there's like patties you can cook them here with fries you've got the uh, cardboard containers you've got the deep fryers you can put the fries in the deep fryers and when you're done with something that is ordered you can push it over to the right side of the table and you can see the green square you just want to move that to the green square so uh, basically that's all you have to do is go through for the cooking you have to make at least 10 different items and move them over to the green squares in order to do this next part so you can look over here in the metaverse we've got those three completed we took orders we uh, we made the orders and we served the Orders. Now we're going to click on this briefcase over there underneath the uh, the house on the right. Now we're going to do delivery driver. Now this part takes a lot longer than the other parts because you have to do 10 of them and you can't do them like all at once and you have to drive to a bunch of different places to do the deliveries. So you just grab yourself a bag. You can only grab one bag at a time. I tried grabbing multiple bags and it didn't work. So go outside, grab yourself one of these vehicles and uh, pretty much all of the, t uh, the houses are in the same direction towards that town. Uh, so you're going to go out, you take a right, you go over the bridge and one of these houses is going to be your delivery house. You can see there's 
there's going to be an arrow on the bottom that points you in the direction that you need to go. And there's also going to be this blue sign that shows you exactly where to go as well. So uh, that's just one of them. Then you're going to have to go through. I'd recommend go after you deliver one. Go to the right. See that briefcase. Just do the delivery job again. And that'll just teleport you right back to the delivery place where you can go and it's a lot quicker than if you try to drive back to grab something, grab uh, another car and do this. So we're just going to speed forward through the rest of these here. Uh, but basically you just go through and you get 10 of these. Now skipping through a few of those to save time. But basically all you're doing is grinding, delivering a bunch of those. Now after you delivered the 10th one, we've got one more job that we need to do. And it is not the server. It is not delivery cook. It is the supplier. So this one's pretty quick and straightforward and easy. You teleport to to the supplier area you get into one of the trucks and then you drive into one of these open bays over here now when you're in the proper area you can see that the little box underneath you is going to turn green and there's something above you that is going to move and come over to your head so get out of the vehicle and then get out of the vehicle and come over here and push the buttons on some of these crates and you want to fill the truck with it holds 16 total there's eight on the bottom layer eight on the top layer you can keep pushing the button but it's not actually adding more crates to your truck it's just adding uh it's just making those crates fall off so uh after you've got your truck filled go into the truck and uh we're gonna go drive over to the fast food restaurant so we just turn around as always we've got the arrow on the bottom that is directing us where to go and uh, it's pretty easy if, if we got to know the map pretty well in the last part during the deliveries. We're just driving back to our area. And uh, over on the side of the building, there is a spot there where you can drop things off. Some people might pull up in ahead of you, but it doesn't matter. You're not going to crash into other vehicles. You can have two of them there at the same time. And once you're under there, you can see it just sucks all that stuff up. And then after you've got all of those missions done, it says congratulations. And you've got the badge on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Sparks Kilowatt Secret Package in The Day the Noobs Took Over Roblox 2. That is a really long name. So as soon as you spawn, it gives a splash screen. You go forward, you've got Sparks there, you go teleport through her door, and you get taken to this special area. You've got a bunch of people up here, up the stairs. There's a cutscene. I just skipped the cutscene. There's a lot of cutscenes, guys. You're going to spend a lot of time just watching NPCs talk to you. But after that, you go down this orange portal, and then from here, you're going to go into this area, which is the egg drop dropper area so this is very reminiscent and also the 2008 egg hunt lots of questions about it so these questions will be very different there's a lot of different questions uh if you get it wrong it's fine it'll ask the next one and you can just keep guessing until you get five of these right uh this is a very forgiving mission see it says wrong so if you get it wrong it's no big deal it will just ask the next next question so uh this is basically about the eggs from 2008 some of them have a story you know some of them you had to have teamwork some of them uh you couldn't get some of them had different names originally like the tiny egg of non-existence which you guys can actually get now which if you saw my april fool's video it's kind of strange it all went full circle there uh anyway so we've got four out of five of them so now in 2008 the egg rain which one looked like crumpled paper so that was this one right here so as soon as you're done and you get all five of those correct you want to stand on this platform here in the middle with the smiley face because it is going to raise rise up so you want to rise up with it and go to the next area so uh next area there's just an open door and you have to go through you interact with these eggs and as you interact with these eggs they melt and they melt portions of the ice that are preventing you from getting through to the next place so uh looks like this was not the proper way to go but we're re really close so we're gonna melt this one down over here now we've just got this last one over here and now we're out so now this you can step on red but don't step on any blue some of these change colors from red to blue and you don't want to jump on them while they're blue and then of course there's all also some of these barriers that you have to jump over and uh, I just touched one there and you can see it just sets you back a little bit so there's like checkpoints there's also one of those things at the end so you can't see it it almost blends in a little bit at the end of this you can see there's still one thing right there you got to jump over so that one just kept getting me at the end of these uh, the fact that there was an extra one at the very end I kept running into it and it kept resetting me back so uh, yeah just wait as these turn red you jump across and you get to the other side now this one you interact with that uh, egg in the middle and that's going to give you different gravity so this part uh most of the jumps are not too tricky and you can get little checkpoints along the way but there is one of the jumps that proved to be very very tricky for me and it's this one right here i had to jump 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 i just was not getting 
high enough. Uh, so I had to make sure I finally I finally got over there, but it took a little bit of effort. Now we just jump down across to the other side of the wall, and we're going to go to this little teleporter. Now we're going to have this thing right here, and you have to pull the lever. And inside of there, after you pull the lever, you can see that there is going to be a... Uh, a egg that is going to talk to you right there. So after that egg talks to you, he's basically, Mwahaha, I'm gonna you you can't stop me. He's he's gonna make you <laughs> go get some more eggs basically. So climb up to this side. You can see there's one egg. Oh, if he hits you, he might uh, launch you across. Just climb back up there. You can see that you're holding the egg, and you're gonna have to climb on over to the other side to drop the egg off over here. So these are all. 2008 uh, egg hunt or egg drop or egg rain eggs. So you just have to keep going over here, pick up an egg from the pillar, and then make your way over to the other side. If you die, it's okay. It's very forgiving. It will reset. You can come back and try it again. So while you're doing this, that egg up at the top is trying to shoot at you and destroy you throughout this whole process. So you want to make sure you avoid getting shot. And uh, over here, just make sure you don't hit the, the landmines. That part's pretty simple, pretty easy making our way to the top there and we put that one in there now we're just going to go across and there is one final egg that we have to get from the pedestal to bring over to the other side so here we go we've got that one we're rolling over here this one's not very difficult or tricky at all so we put that one in there and now there's a portal that opens up in the middle go in there and then across the portal those guys are going to go after you so you want to avoid them uh the red ones are going to end up disappearing eventually so you see how they're red you you don't want to step on them when they go red and then black now this part right here was the trickiest for me because we got this guy but then over here those things are just like it seems like the the panels right here are just launching you like even when i wasn't really getting hit from those things they seem to be pushing me so it's just really weird you stand on this stuff and you seem to get pushed uh so just got to make your way through here and just try to run through avoid getting hit by those things eventually you make you'll make your way through but yeah this part is a little bit derpy and it does kind of toss you around like a rag doll a little bit now this next part is really easy you just have these stars that are spinning and as they're spinning and rotating you just want to make your way across over to the other side uh yeah so again this one shouldn't be very difficult they're spinning really slow now here i'm pretty sure you need to avoid these fabergé eggs uh i didn't get touched by any of them but they look like if they touch you they're gonna probably explode or something i'm not sure but just don't get touched by those now after this all you have is a really really long period of time of cut scenes you're gonna hear this guy talk you're gonna get an egg and there's a whole bunch of stuff that they're just, they're just gonna talk there's a long dialogue here and it's gonna take probably three minutes or so Anyways, at the end of the dialogue that you have to sit through and you have to listen, this person right here with an eye patch who was telling you a story the whole time gives you the uh, secret package and you can see on the bottom right that you've got yourself that back. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Spark secret package in the game Destined to Fail. So this game, not sure what's going on. It basically, your character comes in here, wakes up. You're going to be in a server all by yourself. You're going to try to click on this clock. You can't click on the clock. It's just a bunch of random things that just go wrong. I've got the speed going about uh, twice as fast as as it normally is so this is at double speed so it's gonna take you about three minutes to do this whole thing not very long short and sweet so here you put all the ingredients into the bowl we've got Tabasco sauce for some reason that we're putting in with our cereal and then we're putting it in the oven and uh, so we're also setting the house on fire in the process of doing that now we run around like crazy I'm not sure what this is if it's our arm or uh, what's sticking out anyways we run around the house a little bit and <laughs> you're gonna see that there's gonna be prompts to do things so we can open the door there's a tax guy out there and uh he he just says that he's here to collect the taxes uh and we gotta go hide the evidence which i think is why we're burning the house down uh so <laughs> now we're gonna go up to this thing and push it and it just randomly spits out the tax returns and Krabby Patty recipes. I have no idea. It is really random. Then eventually you can click on the window here and you escape out the window and you run and the house explodes. And when the house explodes, you'll see on the bottom right that you've got yourself the badge and you've got the crate. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to get Sparks Kilowatt secret package in the game, find the square. So it says right there, survive till round 25 and either find the square or Simon says mode to win. So in between rounds, there is different types of rounds. Like right now you can see there's 
there's spleef. I had to go through a few spleef rounds before I got to a find the square round. So uh, right here, it says a color at the top, and then you go and you stand on that color. You've got a little countdown, and when that countdown goes down, all the other colors are gonna disappear. So if you guys are colorblind, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, like I'm not sure what to say or if there's any way to do this. Um, this doesn't seem like it caters to anyone who might be colorblind, but uh, if you're not and you can actually play this one, all you have to do is just keep playing this until you get to level 25. Simon said mo says mode, I didn't uh, get that round at all. Pretty self-explanatory there, but this, all you have to do, it's pretty easy. It doesn't take too long. You should be able to do it in about five minutes to get to uh, round 25. So all you have to do is see, you know, light blue, white, black, whatever the color is, try to get onto it and just try to survive past round 25. So this one, again, pretty easy to get. Shouldn't take you too long and also very straightforward unless you are colorblind. So uh, we're speeding up a little bit past this point as we like to do during those pointless times. So because this one, you don't really need to have it real time one to one, but you can see right there on the bottom right, I've got the badge now that we've made it to round 26. And if you actually do survive longer than anyone else, then you will actually be the winner for the whole round. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to get Spark Secret Package in the game Incognito. So when you start, you can see a little splash screen there and you'll start right next to an NPC of Sparks. You talk to her and she says that she's got a mystery crate for you, but you have to find some pieces for her. So there's four things that you have to do. You can see right there, four missions. Now, if you go and talk to her, you can see it again. Or if you click the icon on the right, you can see you have to win a game. You have to get a power core, blinker fluid, which is hilarious to me, and spaceship gear. Blinker fluid, it's kind of like a joke thing. Like you tell people to get blinker fluid and if they don't know anything about a car, there's no such thing as blinker fluid. So uh, anyways, each match, what you have to do is, it depends on your role. Sometimes you're a double agent, but it will tell you exactly what you need to do for your role in order to win. You could be a cop, you could be a, uh, a robber, you could, there's various different roles and it's gonna tell you each time. But each round, you need to at least win one, but for the most part, what you wanna do is look around the map to try to find the pieces that you need. So uh, each map has pretty much one piece, like right there, we've got one of those pieces right there. Okay, so uh, we've got the first out of four. Next thing we're gonna do is, as a part of this round, we managed to stay alive, so we got a victory. So that's two out of four. So you have to get a victory, and you have to get all of the parts. We've got two more parts that we need to get. Like I said, each map has one part in it. You can't find like all three parts in one map. Everybody in the map can actually get the part, not just one person, which is awesome. And they're usually pretty easy to find. And uh, so here's the second one. There is a gear right there. So you can see as you touch it, it says how many out of four you've got. Uh, this next round, we're a cop. So uh, just doing this. And you may end up going through rounds like randomly and you'll just see the same part. Now, if you guys are all working together to try to find the stuff, if you find that there's like another gear, like we found in here in this room, we already have the gear. This is the third game that we played and we just all reset. So just reset, you'll start up, you'll go through intermission and then you'll go into another round. Now this round, we're a robber and all we're doing at this point is looking for the last piece. So they're usually pretty easy to find though, like right over there, this one didn't take long to find at all. So there we go, that is the last piece right there. You can see it says task four out of four complete. Then over on the right side, click on Spark's face and then it will automatically claim. You don't even have to click on claim right there, but you can see you've got that badge on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to get Sparks Kilowatt secret package in the game, Superpower Fighting Simulator. So when you start out, these arrows are gonna point you straight over to this NPC of Sparks Kilowatts. Now, if you've already played the game and you've got a whole bunch of endurance and strength and psychic, then doing this is gonna be really quick and really easy. Uh, but it's one of those simulators on, on the bottom. You can see your gear. You've got one, two, and three. Number one, with the muscles, you get strength. Number two, with the shield, you get endurance. Number three, with the brain, you get psychic. So you just basically equip it, and then you just keep clicking in order to build up whatever that one is until the quest is complete. Uh, after you do the, the parts of the quest that you need for her uh, to do, then you just go talk to her again, and she's just gonna give you another list of quest quests. What I recommend is just click through what she's saying, and then on the left side where it says quests, just go click on that, and it will show you on the top what you need to do. But this is just a little bit more grinding. You have to get the multipliers. If you just play the game normally, uh, over on the left side, it says stats, and with the stats, you can buy 
multipliers. Now, I recommend go online and look for superpower fighting simulator codes, and you can find a bunch of Twitter codes, you can get a bunch of tokens, and you can buy a bunch of stats and make that part go by really, really easy without grinding too much. Then there's a little bit more grinding with strength, and the numbers are going to be a little bit higher because you're going to have higher stats. But also, another place where you can go and help your multipliers is over here at the gym. So right here, after you get a that 1k strength, you can get a 5 times multiplier on your strength, and you can multiply your endurance over there as well. So if you guys are trying to get that quicker, uh, that's another way to do it. Then go back to her, talk to her again. Then once you've got the strength and the endurance that you need, then she's just going to tell you another quest that you have to do. So we're going to go look at our quests over here. Now this one says to open ancient chests. Now we have to open five of the ancient chests. So over here where it says upgrade over on the left side, click on upgrade and down there where it says ancient item boost, go to the shop and then it says basic chest right there. So you can open up the treasure chests. Uh, well, you can open up ones that cost more if you want. Uh, also, it's to, to open those, you need some of the diamonds and in order to get the diamonds you're going to get them as you're going through the game as well uh, as you're getting missions done but you may have to just kind of go through and do some of the basic tutorial stuff in the game and go through some of those missions just to kind of uh, get a little bit ahead and get yourself some tokens and get yourself some diamonds but again don't forget to look online for uh for some videos on the codes there's there's a bunch of codes that are available uh, so after you get your five treasure chests, again, we're going to go and we're going to talk to her and uh, we're going to look at the quests and it says quests complete for that as well. So we've got our endurance, our strength and our psychic. Again, you're just going to have to get bigger numbers on that. So each time it's just a little bit more grind trying to get your strength. Now, if you uh, keep increasing your stats over there on the left side, it's going to go by faster. You're going to have uh, much more multipliers for that whole thing. Uh, but now it says all the quests are complete and you can see on the bottom right that we've got the badge. Thank you for watching guys. If you'd like to support, please use code DEATERPLAY when buying Robux and also make sure you subscribe and you've got the notification bell on not only for the launchers because I've got launchers for all of these launch boxes, but also future news, events, and free items that hit the catalog on Roblox. So thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you guys later.